You can steal a kiss from me if you promise to give it back. You can steal a kiss from me, but don't take my wine or my lipstick or my Dollar Tree bag. All right, it's 40 days, 40 bags, lots of getting rid of stuff. I've lost track what day it is. I think it's probably 13. Meh. I just did necklaces and it's the same day and I'm gonna do bracelets while I'm sitting here. I still have some light. I thought I'd run out, but I didn't yet. So, but we are doing separate videos just because of the time. So here's what I kept for necklaces. So I'm just gonna add to this bag and then I have, oh, I could just add the giveaway. Oh, this holy bag over here. And I'm just gonna do bracelets. So here we go. And it probably won't take that long. And that's the beauty of this 40 bag, 40 day thing is it's like it just in little increments, you're supposed to fill up like a grocery bag or something, not a whole, let's do an hour of decluttering and stress ourselves out. It's just like grab a little time and it all adds up. And at the end of the week, you're like, huh, I got some ish done. Okay, so I'm doing bracelets, but also watches, anything that's on your wrist. So here we go. Welcome people, if you're new. Hi, hello, and how do you do? There is a lovely watch that is from my grandma. Bless her heart, I love her. Do you ever do that where you're like, it's from my grandma, I have to keep it. You don't, you need to let it go. You do. She'll still love you and you'll still remember her even if you don't have the brown Timex you never wore. This I got and I wore it at first. Isn't it cool? It's got like uh, velour little strips in there. Really cute, never wear it. I've got a bunch of these just kind of random things. I, I mean, I had this sense, oh, I don't know. This could be 15 years old. I'm telling you, I hold on to the trendy jewelry almost till it's time to be trendy again. Um, this, I have tried to let this go so many times and just couldn't. This is a little bow with studs. I have to keep it. I don't know why. There's something, if there's something in you, there's something over the years you just can't. Don't keep it all, but if there's one item like that, this is just another kind of, not trendy, but you know, uh, very costume jewelry from Char Charming Charlie's, I believe I got another similar type of item where there, it's just junk jewelry, it's cheap, it's cute for a while, and it's not. That could be cute to someone, but it's not cute to me. Excuse me, sorry, I'm like out of the frame a little bit. I'm back, guys. This little, little gold bracelet you don't even need to see. This always fit my wrist awkwardly. That's going away. These I totally forgot about, and I'm actually going to bust them out, I think, this summer. I like these. I mean, everyone can always have gold bangles, right? These are from H&M. Oh, the price is gone, but I remember they were really cheap, so that's awesome. Keep those. This is real silver and garnet or something, and I got this when I was 22 years old, and I actually still really like it. There it is. Um, you can't really see the red stone, but it's really pretty. I just need to polish it, and I've been lazy, so I'm going to... Once I put all my jewelry back together, I'm going to just have the pieces that I really like still that are silver and tarnished and polish them and everything will be right in the world. Okay. This piece, this piece, what am I going through, puberty? This is real silver too. I'm trying to maybe keep a lot of my real silver if I like it enough. Um, and this one, it's pretty. I could see me wearing this if I polish it back up. Pretty. This, I'm going to, this was from a subscriber, very sweet. I did wear it, but I wear the other, she got me some other stuff too that I wear more. It's really pretty with the coral and pink, but I think I'm going to give this to another home. Just a black beaded bracelet, I think, is a good thing to have on hand, like even just to a wedding or something if you need something to throw on the wrist. It's not a bad thing to have, you know? This one is cute, but I just found I didn't wear it. It has fish. This is also from a subscriber. Um, really cute, but I just I didn't find myself wearing it. So I want it to go to someone who will wear it, right? That's what this is about. This is something else I did not wear. And this is... Doo -doo -doo. I, think, I think that was for my mom. 
Sorry, man. This I love. This is a magnetic closure and it's real turquoise and I love it. I got it at Bloomingdale's when I was 23 years old. When my friend there, she, friend there, when my friend there, when my friend worked there, she had discounts. This is rose gold faded. When rose gold fades, there's no saving it. But when my friend worked there, she got discounts. And um, so I got some really like nice jewelry, like 40% off or something, I forget. But I was like 22 years old. This, I'm gonna keep, I think it's cute. Cora loves it as well. Keep that one. I thought this was so precious when I got it and I did wear it a lot, but I just don't ever reach for this now. This was like I got probably four years ago or something. I remember I was doing YouTube when I got it. Um, Cora asked to wear this today, but we're gonna get rid of that anyway. Sorry, Cora, I know you love your guest watch. This thing I wore to death when I first got it. I mean, for you, I wore it for like three years. I love this thing, but I don't know. Just not, it's just not me anymore. Just not feeling it. This one I actually think I'm gonna keep. This is like a pretty, I think this is real turquoise and gold bead. I think this is one of the ones from Bloomingdale's. Um, I, is that, I don't know. Sorry, I'm going through trying to remember. Oh, these all came together. And, sorry, I'm trying to put them all together. I don't tend to reach for these. This is a set. Very cute though, but I don't reach for them. And we're decluttering. You can't think about stuff. You can't feel bad about it. Or maybe I will if I did. You gotta really be ruthless. This I've always loved. I have had this, you guys, since I don't even know. Like. 20, 21, I just love it. It's, I don't know what I love about it. It's like the brown and the purple to, hi. The brown and the purple together, I just love. And it's um, like adjustable, you go with the yarn and it fits my little wrist. I wore this like a boss for many years. It has leather and a little heart. It reminds me of kind of like Betsy Johnson, but I'm gonna get rid of that. There it goes, nobody knows where it goes. I kept all these black beaded things, but I'm gonna get rid of them. There's a green one in there too. I'm just gonna get rid of those. The other ones get enough. This is like one of those teething things, I think, for a baby. They chew on them. This one, I really like this oil slick trend, and when I first got this, I didn't love it, but now that I'm seeing it everywhere, does that ever happen to you? I'm like, oh, it's kind of neat. So, I don't know, I'll have to see about that. It's kind of fun, right? What do you think? Comment below. Real silver bracelet, start with 925, and I'm gonna keep that. It's good to have one silver bracelet. Again, you need to slap something on. Not slapping this on, this is going bye-bye. This is a so blingy it won't focus. It's just rhinestone central. We're gonna give that away. This is one of those bracelets. I think I'm gonna give this one away too. Turquoise. Yeah, oh, there. this is like wooden actually. It's not even turquoise. Definitely don't feel as bad now. Giving away wood. Um, and then this is just, I mean, these things, I'm telling you, I had this in my 20s. I don't even know, 25 maybe? I don't let stuff go, people. I don't let it go. This matches the necklace that I like. It's a very fun vacation set. Love it. Love the colors. And the little starfish are so cute. Keeping that for sure. This I found on the ground. This is more like a memory ex-boyfriend, so definitely needs to go in the trash. <coughs> I found this on the ground when we were on vacation on our anniversary weekend, and I was like, loved it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I was in love with it. Not in love with him, not in love with it. Well, pink bow, this is pretty cute, but I just don't reach for it anymore. I did, I wore it a lot for a while. Cute, very cute spade-esque maybe, hmm, yeah. Oh, that's an earring that'll go in the other pile. Oh, this is the last one, you guys. <gasps> I'm so excited, I have to polish this. I, I'm getting very much into these stones again, and like Kendra Scott, I'm very into that. And this is kind of, like this, I'm telling you, I was obsessed with, I was 21 years old when I got this, and I love it. It's that, oh my gosh, um, amber. 
Ambar, sound like a valley girl, Ambar, but it's really pretty, see? Ooh, girl, can't wait to polish you up. So let's see how the bags are. They're probably about even. Oh, no, I am giving away more than I'm keeping. Oh, good. But there's all my necklaces and bracelets. That's a good chunk of stuff going away. And I, I'm going to try to do another run through after I go through my upstairs jewelry, too. And I still have to do this bag, which has, like, earrings and smaller jewelry in there. So... Please follow me if you are not following me. Are you following me? Yeah? Subscribe, you know what I mean. And hit the notification button on there because that little bell makes it so you, you people know when Steal a Kiss uploads another video. Mainly decluttering video because this series is every day. Look at me, I'm not feeling well today. I'm still here doing it. I am on the couch like a boss decluttering because you can too. All it takes is 15 minutes and a smile or something. No really, how much, how long did that take? That took like less than 15 minutes, so don't overwhelm yourselves. I want to keep reminding you guys, or if you're new, you can do half a cabinet. You can do a shelf somewhere. You can do your purse. You can do a drawer. You don't have to go and be like, all right, I need to do this entire cabinet, or I need to declutter my entire closet. It's crazy. It's too much. We are busy people with busy lives. Even if you're not busy, nobody wants to spend hours doing that because it's not as motivating like I have found and a lot of my followers are telling me doing it in these little chunks oh there goes my face doing it in these little chunks helps them helps keep them motivated to do it because it's not overwhelming so whatever stop your talking Stila please everyone subscribe thumbs up if you like these videos because I will do more after the 40 days is up I'll continue if you guys really really like these videos I will try to start doing an everyday type of declutter um, my own little version. I don't know. I'm thinking on it. I'm thinking about it. So, okay. Thank you for following me. And if you are a loyal subscriber and have been around for a while, holla. I love you. And everyone put your deuces up and say declutter deuces.